You know, years ago when Disney first announced their more refined plans for Tiana's Bayou Adventure, more than just we're retheming Splash Mountain to the Princess and the Frog, and they revealed more concept art of what the attraction would look like and miniatures of what the ride would look like at D23, I was of the firm impression that Critter Country would be no more once Tiana's Bayou Adventure opened. I thought Critter Country would be absorbed by New Orleans Square. That way you'd have a French Quarter area with pirates, the shops and restaurants, and the haunted mansion and a bayou area of New Orleans Square with Bayou Adventure, Winnie the Pooh, Pooh Corner, and the Hungry Bear. And that was my honest opinion. I really thought Critter Country was done for. I thought it would be a thing of the past. Does Winnie the Pooh fit within New Orleans Square? Maybe, maybe not, but he would be part of this new Bayou extension. However, on Monday, the week of this video's uploading, Disney sort of put an end to those rumors, and I wanted to come onto this channel and admit that I was wrong and my theory was incorrect, because this is actually really interesting to talk about, because on Monday, March 18th, Disney announced the opening, or should I say re-theming, of two existing Critter Country gift shops. The Briar Patch gift shop would become Ray's Berets, selling a variety of different headwares, and one third of Pooh Corner back there in the back of Critter Country would become Lewis's Critter Club. Hmm, yes, interesting name they chose there for that gift shop. I think this news release is sort of an effort by Disney to qualm the rumors that Tiana's Bayou Adventure is going to absorb the rest of Critter Country around it into this theme. But most of Critter Country is staying the same. You just have these two gift shops that are changing, and one of them is just changing a little bit, not all the way. Winnie the Pooh, the Hungry Bear, all of that will still remain, I'm assuming, as it is today, unless they add some, you know, foliage or greenery to make it look more bayou-y. Bayou-y? Is that a word? And even just looking at these pieces that they released on Monday, you can tell more so with Lewis's Creature Club than Ray's Berets that they are sort of going for a more Bayou-y feel there once you exit Tiana's Bayou Adventure into what used to be Pooh Corner. In an article NOLA Magazine released with Disney back in January of this year, we got more details as to what we could expect inside of the actual attraction show building more so than what we've seen of the outside, which we, we know about by this point. And the new animatronic band of animals that you can see in this piece of concept art right here is very carefully and very specifically referred to as critters. It seems like they're wanting to make the critters of Tiana's Bayou Adventure just as important as Tiana and Naveen and Louis and Ray, well not Ray, themselves. And as the actual construction and re-theming of the facade of Bayou Adventure has continued over the months, one thing has remained absolutely constant, and that is the Critter Country sign. The Critter Country sign has not moved an inch <clears throat> yet, uh, because as soon as I upload this video, Disney will take it down and put up a New Orleans Square 2 sign in its place, so you're, you're welcome for that. However, all of this does sort of come with a price. I think it's important to note this isn't a news update or anything, but there is a cost to having these two new gift shops, and that's Critter Country is going to be closed in its entirety starting on May 1st of this year. So if you want to ride the mini adventures of Winnie the Pooh or shop at Pooh Corner, you better get it in now because we're not going to have it for much longer. And so with them closing all of Critter Country, I'm wondering if it's going to be more than just changing those two shops and maybe something like adding, like I said, vegetables to make it feel more like a bayou. However, Winnie the Pooh, the Hungry Bear, all of that is staying the same. I just, I just don't know how, to what extent they are going to be changing Critter Country. Hey, they may be changing it a little bit, but at least it's sticking around. Critter Country survives another 10 to 15 years until eventually it gets changed to something else. It just occurred to me how weird it is to have like a bunch of Princess and the Frog stuff, right? She has a ride, a restaurant, two gift shops, well actually three gift shops if you count uh, Eudora's Chic Boutique over in New Orleans. That's a lot of Princess and the Frog square footage, am I right? I mean, I'm not complaining or anything, I just, I just thought it was funny. I do love shopping at Eudora's, that is a fun gift shop. And may I just say that this is yet another reason why I think Tiana's Bayou Adventure, as it stands now, as the surrounding land stands, is a better fit for Disneyland. With the rumored updates we have coming to Frontierland at Walt Disney World, uh, changing it into a bit of a mini New Orleans square, it will definitely flow a lot better, but as it stands now, Frontierland, and then a bayou, and then a desert mountain, it just it doesn't make a ton of thematic sense. We'll see what Disney announces, though. I, I have a feeling it's gonna be soon. I'm surprised they haven't done it already at this point. 
Going back to Disneyland though, I think it's safe to say that Critter Country will be staying around for the foreseeable future. Even though the sign wasn't featured in the actual miniature they showed off at D23, it's nowhere to be seen, but I wouldn't take that into consideration too much. This was still a bit earlier on in the development process. This was of course back in the summer of 2022, two years ago, so obviously things have changed and been more solidified since then. But I do think this is about as clear as Disney can get without just coming out and saying, no, Critter Country is staying, that they are emphasizing the critters within the attraction and the gift shops. Ray and Lewis, they're critters. And the critters will stay in the country as long as they are allowed to by the, the, the shareholders of the Disney company. And honestly, I'm not sure how to feel about Critter Country remaining. I could really go either way. If Disney announced they wanted to make Critter Country an extension of New Orleans Square, I'd get it, I'd understand, I'd be fine with it. I'm also okay with Critter Country staying around for as long as it wants to. It, it doesn't really matter to me. I think the land is great as it exists today, and it's a wonderful place to grab a bite to eat and watch the Disneyland Railroad and Mark Twain and Columbia sail across the rivers of America. That's what Critter Country is for me. And add to that, once Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens, the land will have its e-ticket back and it will be the place to be if you want some good food, if you want a great attraction, if you want to look at Eeyore's house, you can do that in Critter Country. But until then, I highly recommend avoiding that corner of the park because starting May 1st, minus the Hungry Bear, there won't be too much of a reason to head over there. The Haunted Mansion isn't open, Tiana's Bayou Adventure is under construction, the rest of Critter Country is closed, it's, it's just gonna be Wall Land. You've heard of Disneyland, now get ready for Wall Land, because that's all it's gonna be. Bit of a shorter video, bit of a different video I know, but I just wanted to acknowledge that my prediction for New Orleans Square encompassing Critter Country was incorrect, but I do also want to turn it over to you. Do you wish that New Orleans Square sort of encroached upon Critter Country's territory, or are you happy that they're keeping the two lands separate and distinct. One is definitely New Orleans and the other one is definitely little cute cartoon critters. I would love to hear what you think down in the comments below and I will see you all later this week for yet another video a bit longer about the Indiana Jones attraction coming to Disney's Animal Kingdom. That's right, not Disneyland, not Tokyo, but Animal Kingdom and how it's going to be something completely new, something we've never seen before. Hope to see you all there. I'm gonna go this way now. The end of the video is over here.